Hola, muy buenas. Hoy quiero empezar este, esta aventura gráfica que es eh, más estilo eh, clásico. Es un point and click un clásico, no como las últimas aventuras que he jugado. Y vamos a ver qué tal, porque no he jugado, así que no sé cómo es. Parece, tiene pinta y, y por lo que he leído está muy bien, así que vamos a verla. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. A ver, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Tenemos una mochila que no tiene nada dentro. ¿Esto qué es? Un diario. Un extraño te guiará entre la niebla. Un extraño claro en el bosque, un árbol legendario, una silueta vestida de negro y un arcón. ¡Qué misterioso! A ver, ¿quién es este? Oh, who are you? Can you not speak? Hmm, does that mean you don't know? Are you lost? Eh, sí. <laughs> es que no tengo ni idea de por qué estoy aquí ni quién soy. Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, You'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. You aren't, are you? All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. Eh, vale, vamos a por él. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere, and only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Vale, sí. Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> Did you hear something? The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. It's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. What a vez. Me va a tener dando vueltas todo el rato, venga. your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again. Unless the fog thickens more, I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Vale, esto parece el selector de, de capítulos o algo así. Strange fellow. 
He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. Vale, esto parece más normal. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. for school. Come outside and enjoy the sunshine. You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program, start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Wow, when he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart at it. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. <laughs> Bonita manera de hacer el tutorial. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing with a voice call. Radio? Once again, just click on it. Ah, vale. Eh, me gustaría saludar um, a mi madre. I'd like to say hi to my mother. Young Mr. Hazelnut would like to say hi to his mother. You did very well. Thanks. But how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. 
I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the window, sir? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. Vale, vamos a cogerlo. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel, or by pressing the I key, or by clicking the menu button on the edge of the screen. Man, oh man! Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Vale, la I. No, ahora. Good. Your inventory. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse button. Oh, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Oops, ah, the handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. There! That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Or by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh, boy. Pick blackberries, check. Congratulations. You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh, never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Vale, ahora ya me deja jugar. Esto ha sido el, el tutorial. Pero lo primero que quiero ver es aquí. Menú de guardado. Vale, voy a... Bien. Ahora que tenemos por aquí. Zanahorias. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes, and an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Hmm, strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long extinct mammal. The Gremlin Hall. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Fresas. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't need them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. <laughs> ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tenemos? 
Las fresas... Ah, no, las fresas se las ha comido, no las ha cogido. Vale, ¿qué más? El buzón. Un nido vacío. Escondite secreto, a ver, ¿qué hay dentro? No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. Huh, as usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash. Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Vale. Una cerilla es lo que hay. That's not worth my last match. Only one match left. Sí, solo queda una. Y esto es la moneda y el petardo. ¿Qué más hay por aquí? Un barril. Dry as a bone. It hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. La bicicleta nada. ¿Qué más? Grosellas. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. They look delicious. Blech. They're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red color. Y nada más, ¿no? Estatua, fresa. Aquí una estatua, a ver. We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Pues vamos a otra pantalla, a ver. Vamos a seguir. Lata de cola. Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Oh, unbelievable. Vale, este juego eh, es un point and click clásico donde puedes recoger cualquier objeto, eh, da igual si sabes para lo que se usa o no. No es como, por ejemplo, el de Dark Side Detective, que solo podías recoger los objetos cuando el personaje sabía dónde se iban a usar. Y es más complicado así. Este no. A ver, el poste. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Cruce de caminos. Long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. Más estatuas. Mums people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Vale, ¿qué más? Bosque. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, Hey, I'm twelve, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit. It's pretty spooky in there after sunset. Bellotas. Hmm. Vale, pues no me ha dicho nada. ¿Qué más? Un muro. The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. <sighs> Está todo lleno de de esas figuritas, de esas estatuas. I wonder why. Zarzas, a ver. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! Ah! You win this round, Bramble Bush. Ah! Esas son las moras que tengo que there coger. Blackberries back there, but this Bramble Bush is in the way. Vale. Hay que quitar de en medio esa zarza. Lo está escribiendo aquí. Vale, no, no está diciendo nada. Por aquí. Es 
A ver. Que tenemos una piedra plana. La piedra, a ver, piedra pesada. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. Oh, that's really hard on Ay, pesa mucho. Vale, pues entonces no me la puedo llevar. ¿Qué más tenemos? Piedra de tiza. ¿Qué más? Otra, otra estatua. Aquí hay una ramita. Vale, ver, esa seguramente se la llevará. Bien. Círculo de champiñones. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. Bueno, árbol. Será árboles. No. Oh, todo esto es un árbol. Un solo árbol. No. Bueno, vamos a salir de aquí, que parece... Ahí el arroyo. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. Nada, vamos a salir de aquí. Lo único que tengo ahora es nuevo, es un palo. A ver, ¿qué tenemos? La cerilla, no. That's not worth my last match. No. Y el palo. That's not worth my last match. A ver, suelta la cerilla y coge el palo. All right. I have no other choice. Vale, ahí es. Ah! No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. ¿Qué se ha llevado? Escaramujos. Cool, rose hips. When they're dried, you can use them as itching powder. Ah, polvos pica pica cuando se secan, vale. Y ahora puedo coger las moras. Y hay más. They also look like they need picking. Y hay más detrás de la telaraña. Why does a spider have to make its home in my blackberries? Maybe it's trying to lure berry picking adventurers into a trap. Ha, no way. You can't fool Jerry Hazelnut. Vale, otra vez el palo. Good idea. Va, bien. Now it's off. They're screaming to be picked. Y no parece que haya más más moras por aquí. Ay, ah, y la pelota. Sé con el palo también. Ahí está. Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. Ay, estos no se pueden coger. Pues voy a volver a darle las moras a la madre. A ver. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom, yes, I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Yay! W wait a sec. Only the first piece. And the biggest, Jerry. 
and so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. What was that? Something's in there. Whoa, holy cow. Oh, okay. Be brave. As long as it's not a gremlin wolf, there's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. A ver, ¿qué dice la carta? A flying triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Vale, vamos This a ver poco a poco, son muchas cosas. How he made after drawing on rock. Pinte en la roca un símbolo blanco y convierta el polvo la piedra con la que lo ha pintado, vale. Vamos a dejarlo. A ver, roca. Se puede... A ver, las estatuas. Polvo blanco, será la tiza. Ahí no. A ver, esta... Aquí había otra roca. No, aquí tampoco. Aquí había otra, que es la que decía que se subía encima. An excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. Ah, I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. There. Huh? Squirrel? How cute. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. And now they're gone again. Hmm. Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. A ver, ¿qué es esto? Ah, corteza. Me hace falta. Lo dice en la carta. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. Vale, ahora decía que había que convertir en polvo. There's a weird how he after drawing on rock, a symbol Convierte en polvo white. la piedra con lo que lo ha pintado. Supongo que con la piedra esta habrá que aplastar la tiza. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone, but where should I do it? En la piedra esta, ¿no? Vale, así. Crumbled chalk on rock ledge. An installation by Jerry Hazelnut. Whoa, what am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! Listo. It pulverized the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've vale. got fine white chalk powder. Ah, feels good in my hands. ¿Qué más decía la carta? There's a weird... El siguiente. How he... After draw... A ver, este ya Añada al polvo blanco uno más negro del tipo que puede black causar white, un incendio. Eh, la pólvora, la pólvora que está aquí se puede usar. Justo, eso es. Tiza Fits. y pólvora. ¿Qué más? There's a weird how he after draw then add black in turn black and white Introduzca la mezcla cuidadosamente en el interior de un recipiente tenemos ahí la lata y después introducir corteza fruto seco y zanahoria vale a ver qué dice corteza después also ahí está fruto seco y la zanahoria. 
Okay, now everything is in. Y ahora qué? There's a weird symbol. How after then black and then three more things. Vale, esto ya está. Dibuje un círculo de polvo en una encrucijada. Coloque el vaso en el centro y la receta estará preparada. Vale, vamos a. Una encrucijada antes por aquí, ¿dónde está? Aquí, cruce de caminos. ¿Será ahí? A ver, voy a usar esto en el cruce de camino. Ok, eso es el truco. ¿Y ahora qué? There's a weird how oft then then three more at the crossroads set the circle Prenda el círculo en llamas y cuando la cenoria esté flambeada algo imposible saldrá de la nada. Eh, vale, prender con la única cerilla que tengo, supongo. <risa> All right, let's do it. It's an impossible trunk, and I conjured it up. Yeah, I knew it. Practice makes perfect. Hazelnut is nuts, they said. There's no such thing as magic, they said. They'll all eat their words. Vale, que tenemos aquí es el arcón de un mago, por lo que parece. Vamos a ver el póster. The great Zara experienced the greatest delusionist of our time, but it doesn't say when and where the show is. How strange. The poster looks pretty old too. I wonder if the trunk here belonged to Zaro. I'll just take one of his posters. Oh, there's a rip in the lining of the trunk lid. Vale, ¿qué más tenemos? El sombrero. Whoa, holy cow! What? Again? Man, oh man, magicians really need nerves of steel. Voy a probar otra vez. Whoa, holy cow! Come on, pull yourself together, Jerry. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon, <laughs> or a magic message. Nah. ¿Qué más? Esto que decía que había un desgarro. A little rip is no big deal. That's easy to repair. Uh oh. La varita mágica. Hey, there's a magic wand in the lining. It almost looks like somebody hid it there. Vale, si utilizo la varita con el sombrero... Top hat and magic wand. All right, Jerry, the time has come. You've been training for this for years. So, Abraca. Since I last drank a carrot flame, ah, permit me to introduce myself. I am the Marquis, the Marquis de Hotel. Oh, but you're, you're, you're... a Arctogulus cuniculus sapiens. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Hazelnut, the boy with the dream. What? I know much more than that. Your summer vacation ends the day after tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mathematics, leaky pens, hard wooden benches, dry chalk dust. You human children are so brave. Yet you dream of more. The murmur of the leaves in the wind. Ah, it reminds me of home. Where's that? My home? It's where I'm remembered. Yes, but where exactly? I can... I can... scarcely remember. What? Jerry! Tell me, what's your greatest dream? A ver, algo truco de magia en mi tiempo libre, pero... 
Una vez actué en la escuela como mago. Ser mago no es un trabajo serio, así que... Pues la primera. A ver. I want to be a magician. I know, for I am a magician. Beloved, feared, needed, and extremely brilliant. My goodness. Will you be my apprentice? What? Absolutely. Travel with me. Beyond the boundaries of the imaginable. Study the five fiery mantras of the Phoenix Conjuration and master every single facet of magic. Well, not all of them, perhaps. This is fantastic, but... But? My mother says I have to be home for dinner. Jerry, your training will take days, weeks. Eh, a ver... Supongo que entonces es imposible. True training in the magical disciplines, the study of the art of arts, all of this takes time. Hmm. Qué pena. Oh no. And even time itself is an object of study for magicians. He who studies time needs time. Such a long time. Of course. But Jerry, listen to me carefully. Forget impossible. For a magician, nothing is impossible. On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. Are you ready to trust me, Jeremiah? I am. You carry a certain coin. What? How, how do you know that? It has a very special aura. Where did you get it? I... I don't know exactly. It seems like I've always had it. Something is missing here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Jerry. Everything which is lost will turn up again. I... I always used to practice my magic tricks with it. Look through the hole in your coin. Its magic power will grant you a new view of the world. What you'll see is magical iridescence. From now on, the coin will show you what might be helpful in your training. Para ver aquello que queda oculto a simple vista, abre el inventario y haz clic en la moneda. También puedes pulsar la barra espaciadora o el botón central del ratón en cualquier, en cualquier momento. Vale, así es más fácil con el botón central del ratón. Take good care of your coin. My magic will protect you from being forgotten. We're leaving this world. We have no time to lose. After all, you want to be home in time for dinner. You will need this. Jerry, do you remember what I told you? Uh, nothing is impossible. And soon it will no longer sound like a question when you say it. Do you know this place, Jerry? Sure, that's the old path tree. I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Special? Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults can become lost in the woods. Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. A ver. Uy, una rana. Oh man, a toad. Un sapo. It's gigantic. The magic of this place allows it to survive here and grow, forgotten by time. But just as with any other power, magic too can be misused, like the power of this portal tree. Then we intervene. We? The magicians, the tree walkers. Caminar, boy. 
Pero no era un aprendiz de mago. Árbol portal. ¿Y eso qué significa? Bueno, vamos a probar. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Different worlds? Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? No. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I don't understand. None of us do, but you learn quickly. Vale, árbol portal. What does that mean? Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. ¿Cómo se usa un árbol portal? But how do you use a portal tree? This is where magic begins. Wow! Go through the portal, Jerry. From now on, casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Isn't it dangerous? I mean... Hey! Whoa! Someone is entering the clearing. Four, four nails. I'm a real leaf in the eye of the storm. <gasps> We must hurry. We shall ride the wind. As we have always done. The farther we go from the portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realize that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection, such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mousewood. Wow! Here you will complete your training. Well, where's the school? And, and all the teachers nice? This world is more magical than yours. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school, and its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you, but soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I 
I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here. I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. Uh, all right. Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towns? Well, hey. Vale, voy a grabar primero. A ver, ¿qué tenemos por aquí? Hablar con esta rata, se puede hablar con... Con todos los ratones. Tenemos el cuerno. Pilar de anuncios, más anuncios. Un café que se puede entrar. Aquí también se puede entrar y hay un montón de sitios. Aquí, el reloj, salir. Esto es la salida del, del poblado. Y una señal aquí que se puede ir para allá. Pues nada, vamos a... a ver, hablemos con este. What a strange looking squirrel. He looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Daring? No, no, not at all. Don't you see all these maps? What, what? Oh, so you're a map maker. Oh, hardly. I'm a traveler. Is this your first time in Mousewood? Oh, come and see me later at the barrier. Just walk up the ramp to the right of the town gate. Vale. Bueno, solo me ha dicho que nos veremos más tarde. Vale. Have you seen Plato the Frog by any chance? I've been waiting here for a package from the Super Squirrel Boutique for Smart Squirrels. Super Squirrel Boutique? <laughs> That's a funny name. Oh really? So what's your name? Me? I'm Jerry. Oh, I think Jerry is a very funny name. And I bet you don't make drop dead stylish accessories. Um, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You see, I'll just keep waiting for Plato and my package then. Oh, maybe I should have left town with my cousin Edgar instead of standing here and thinking about how the crows could come back at any time. It just feels creepy, but I've just got to have my package. Vale, a ver, ¿qué más? Excuse me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening at the Hares, and I'm prepping to go. Well, hey. Y este que ha aparecido nuevo. Um, hello. Is everything okay? Psst. Is there? Is there someone behind me? I think I've been haunted by a ghost. I, uh, I, I don't think you are. At least I don't see anybody. I can't see anyone either, but I know someone is there. You find one strange book in the woods, can't understand a single word, and then they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? I get all the luck. Vale, he escrito algo. Ay, hace al revés. Arriba se pone lo más, lo más nuevo. A ver si con la, con la moneda se puede ver a alguien. Oh, there really is someone behind you. Now he's gone. I knew it. Oh, lucky me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Mm, well, he had a pebble head and uh, his arms were twigs and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. I found it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. Uh, I thought it was cursed or something. Hello? <laughs> A ver, el libro. A ver the mouse qué es. with the backpack gave it to me. It's full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious wood sprite. 
the great Zaro. I wonder if that was his stuff in the trunk. His top hat. Ah! There you are. Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone. Please excuse this sudden trespass, honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's holy dormouse. Those eyes. Eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but my parents said he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the first, but I knew him. The Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him, so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. Ooh, what? Magician's apprentice, please hold your horseflies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. Do you think you can do it? Absolutely. Oh, stop! Don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. Huh? A ver, ya puedo. Va, voy a grabar aquí. Y... I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> I always tell people. Nah, intento hablar con con Ursula y y me responde este el Jonathan. A ver qué más tenemos por aquí una mesa. A table shaped like a three-leafed clover. The clover leaf has a special meaning for us. Oh, it symbolizes the cooperation of the three permanent members of the Mousewood Town Council. Three? Our third member is Hannah Mouse. We have not seen her since the evacuation during the last crow attack. Oh, a ver, los hey, libros. something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of Egrets. That is a historical novel. Ooh -hoo. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> a ver, habrá, habrá que darle algo... No sé. A stick won't help here. No, esto no. Y esto no lo creo tampoco. Are cool, ¿no? but disappointingly useless. Habrá que darle algo, supongo. A uniformed mouse on a a beetle. 
That is a painting of the founder of our town, Magistrate Maximus of Mousewood. He created the moral foundation for our beautiful woods and the town of Mousewood. Moral foundation? The not intended for consumption pact, which decrees that if it lives and breathes, then it is not food. Oh, I see. So you must be a vegetarian. Of course. I'm the picture of health. Ooh. I see. Vale, parece que eh, si uso la moneda, todo lo que se ilumina eh, son objetos que puedo examinar. Son objetos importantes. You aren't allowed up there, youngster. Up there are the documents concerning the town, the law and the constitution. You have to be a member of the community to see them. Also, it's possible to climb all the way to the top of the town hall from there. Really? Indeed. Perhaps you will decide to live in Mousewood one day. Then I will show you. Warm. Vale, a knight's armor, just like in a book. Well, if knights had been little hamsters, oh, that would have been so cute. Nobody would have wanted to fight a war. ¿Qué más? Los libros red con nueces. Interesting furnishings, stylish and edible. Those are the public funds of our community. Many of the town's workers prefer nuts as payment. Ooh vale. Pues no veo que pueda hacer nada por ahora. Pues me voy a ir. A ver si me dejan. A ver qué más, por dónde puedo ir. A ver el cuerno. A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Anuncios. In a hard to read scroll, the note says tension. My name is August. I am five years old. I lick I like to play piano. Thank you for reading. Okay. Then bye bye. And then he drew a funny face underneath. Blue juice, tasty and blue. A quality product from the wood dwarves. Vale, aquí se puede ir el reloj. I don't see any hours or minutes on it. It looks like the mice's clocks only show you whether it's day or night. Well, I guess that's all you need. ¿Qué más? Vale, voy a ir por por aquí. Hello, I'm Jerry. Junior? No, no reply. Hello? Junior? He's shy. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although, that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. R ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The traveling merchants, Church Mouse and Sun, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have wanted it. You talk like an actor. I have funny you should say that, uh, but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? Church Mouse and Son have everything. A ver. Algo sabroso, pastel de queso. A ver. Tasty. Maple syrup cheesecake. With walnuts? Even better. A mud pie with 
twigs and rocks in the shape of a heart. Mud pie? Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. It's very realistic. Mud fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole shop soon, and then I'll take a, a well-earned retirement. Soon you can sell your own mud pies. Junior? <laughs> He's shy, but a terribly good businessman. I believe in him really, really strongly, you hear? Junior? It's so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Well, th then take this one time only a small uh, but exquisite promotional gift. A, a, a red thread for you. Here, uh, let me tie the thread to your uh, amusing round coin. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son well, whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things, tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Son. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the coconut palm islands. We're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. We have stuff, too. All right, things and stuff. Yeah, and junk. Things, stuff, and junk. Now you've got it. Vale, a ver lo que me ha dado el moneda My con lucky hilo. coin. The marquee made it magic. I'd better keep. No. Y así. Tampoco. No parece que haya cambiado nada con el hilo. Quizá más adelante. A ver qué tenemos aquí, monolito. Weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face. Hmm. Very, like someone. Vale, ¿qué más? Champiñones. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot better like this than in mum's salads. Ugh. Aquí hay una ventana. Vamos a ver. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Hmm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least not while someone's looking. Cara de A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. Y aquí arriba. Un árbol wow, gigantesco. Old town fits under the tree. Any bird who built a nest up on a branch would have a magnificent view. Y nada más. Puedo continuar a ver. Uf, esto está lleno de cosas. You have to be about half my size to fit through there. Maybe you can use it to call someone. The tree is like a second sky over Masswood, only greener and more tree-like. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Calabaza. Here are incredibly big. On the other hand, I have been talking to mice and mice. By comparison, a giant pumpkin is almost unspectacular. Otra calabaza. Something about this pumpkin is different. It's round and big and orange. I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is different. 
Vale. ¿Qué más? Tenemos un buzón y una puerta. Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. Wood can we do for you today? Nobody here. It says A Molina. No advertisements, please. How mysterious. Hmm. Strange. And locked. ¿Qué más? La bandolera. Banderola, no bandolera, banderola. Y casa. Hay aquí un bote. Wow, what a big leaf. Puedo seguir por aquí. Tengo el arroyo. Nice, the way it babbles along. How odd. I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? There's not even one bee inside. But judging by the sweet smell, the bee's only just left. Se puede seguir. Vale, vamos a seguir. What a strange statue. The upper half is missing, and now it no longer has eyes. Memo, we need more blue juice. Well, the barrel looks empty, but the tap can still be used. Ah, se va a llevar el grifo. Porque sí. A ver este. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touching. To the right are the gardens. Check. The way to the town square leads across the tree route. And if I follow the path in the other direction, I'll come to the edge of town. Hey. Hey you. This is private property. No me deja pasar. Ah, un rastrillo. What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the hair family. It could come in useful. Hey! Hey you! What are you doing with our family rake? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. A ver, el, el juerguista este. Everything okay? Coffee. Somebody shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. That's a lot of mailboxes. There's a lot of room in our house. And a lot of hairs. We have even more tunnels than the wood dwarfs. Of course, there are only three of them. Nice garden. This is private property. Okay, vale, okay. Ya lo vi. ¿Qué más tenemos aquí? La floresta. That big flower is really interesting. Hey! What are you doing sniffing around? I'm just admiring the big pretty flower. <laughs> flower. Rubbish. Vale, voy a seguir por aquí. Ah, vale, sale por ese lado. Da toda la vuelta. ¿Qué tengo nuevo? El rastrillo este y el grifo. Yo iré al café. El borracho que quería café. A ver si puedo conseguir café aquí y dárselo. It sure smells good in here. Kind of like purple drops. Huh? 
I'd better leave that where it is. I want to be a magician, not a key thief. Around here, they probably sentence you to a thousand laps of the hamster wheel. <laughs> vale, voy a hablar otra vez con este. ¿Qué más tenemos? Gotas para dormir. Uli's nightcap. Sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf box. I don't have any leaf box. Not even one. Uli's night sleep. No, no lo va a coger. It says a bottle costs one leaf box. I don't have any leaf box. Not even one. Vale, hoja de cobre. Papelera. Empty. No se le puede encerrar a este. Dentro, a ver. I'd better leave that. I want to... No. Around here. <laughs> vale, ¿qué más tenemos? El fregadero. Uh, no. That won't do any good. One hot coffee. Hmm, that won't work. Voy a necesitar algo donde llenar una taza o algo para llenar el café. Aquí hay un timbre y aquí hay otro. Y este? Ah. Welcome. My name is Anna. Welcome to my little tree trunk cafe. Hello, I'm Jerry. Ah, oh, you're sweet as sugar. <laughs> Eso que acaba de sonar da miedo. Just now, that sounded dangerous. But of course, dangerous and tasty. I'm creating something that no one in Mouseford has ever seen. Exploding cookies! Yeah, but wouldn't an exploding cake be better? Trust me, sugar cube. It will be pancake-tastic. I hope the boy and babysitting will have real fun with them. Little Humbert is... a bit difficult. Everyone thinks he's a nasty, spoiled brat, but he's just... under-challenged. Gifted child. Maybe my new cookies will keep him on his toes. Vale, eh, vale. As far as that um, under-challenged Humbert goes, have you found an interesting hobby for Humbert? Not yet, alas. Oh, too bad. I'm always asking other people <laughs> questions. No one ever asked me a question. Oh, that's terrible. You poor pumpkin. Would you like me to ask you a question? Yeah, ask one, ask one. Hmm, have you seen a frog on your travels? Big fellow, really good looking. Uh... He usually drinks coffee here about this time, but he hasn't come in yet. And I thought we were talking about me. Zumo azul y repostería para el I'm festival, vale. I'm blue juice and baked goods for the treetop festival. Oh, is it that time again? How nice. I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. About the blue juice. I'm sorry, Sugar Plum. Vale, me dice lo mismo otra vez. See you later. Take care. Los enanos han dejado de repartir el zumo. Antes de que empiece su aprendizaje, Jerry debe repartir las invitaciones para el festival. Y ahí conseguir el zumo azul también. Vale, ¿qué más tenemos por aquí? That's what old Uli would have said now. Who's old Uli? Ah, oh, a dear friend of mine. See the picture on the counter. This little herbal pharmacy belongs to him. I see. So, is he out getting more herbs? Well, he's on an adventure and will be gone a very long time. Hmm. Ah, I almost. 
almost forgot something. Apple cheeks. <laughs> One of Uli's painted to sugar-free lollipops. For you. Sugar-free? I also baked Uli's herbs into some buns. But it turned out that nobody wanted them like that. I can't imagine why. Yeah, I knew you'd appreciate Uli's herbs. Hey, they're a bit dry, but... Dry? Oh, just have fun licking the lollipop and nibbling the cake, my little cinnamon bun. A ver. Pastelito reseco y caramelo sin azúcar. There's a note hanging there. One of our guests left the cheese wheel behind. Since it's been here for three years, all guests may now help themselves freely. Kindest regards, Anya. Free? Super! <coughs> oh man, the cheese is rock hard. A ver, hablar con este. Hello. Good day, my friend. Wait a second. I know that voice. Ludwig Borrower is the name. Swamp Radio 103.6 uh, R5. <laughs> mole at <laughs> noon and mole in the evening. Right. I heard you on the radio once. Yes. Unfortunately, the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. I would love to broadcast again. I've been broadcasting from the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my old transmitter. So you're a radio DJ? Yes, unfortunately the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. I would love to broadcast again. I've been broadcasting from the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my old transmitter. Swamp Radio 103.6 R5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Is there any hope that you'll be transmitting again soon? With all the moisture that creeps into my transmitter in the swamp? Never! Someone might complain about my watered-down contributions. What? But your fans... They'll say my jokes are all wet. How will you explain to your fans that you're quitting? With damp eyes. <laughs> because everything's flooded, right? No, because it's really sad. Oh, you can't just give up like that. I'm not giving up. Crack a nut, squirrel, as the young people say these days. No, to get me to stop broadcasting, they'll have to tie my arms, legs, mouth, and belly button. I've always wanted to be on the radio, too. That's the right attitude. If you want to host with me, you'll have to be sharp. Sharp? Yes, just try to set him up so I can knock him down. <laughs> With rapier like wit. Wish. Yes? I, uh, what should I say? Oh, something funny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, why did the chicken cross the road? Ooh, that's no good. That'll go down very badly here in Mousewood, believe me. Oh, okay. Try to come up with something more appropriate for our audience. I'll try again. I have Bye. to be going. See you soon. And remember, Swamp Radio 103.6 R5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. ¿Qué me falta de aquí? Escalera. Roof terrace closed. Danger of abduction by crows. That doesn't sound good. Remember, there are no problems. Only challenges. Cool mushroom. Hmm, the way it smells in here. The pots must contain dried herbs and spices. Ver, puedo entrar aquí. The door is now open. Hey. Hey, you. This is private property. Get out of my garden. Uh oh. No me deja pasar. Ni por ahí ni por el otro lado. Vale. says coffee free but please please also try our pound cake vale dice que es gratis como one hot coffee hmm, that won't work one hot coffee hmm, that won't work necesito algo para llevar el café Uh, 
that doesn't need to have hard cake thrown at it. <laughs> vale, no. ¿Y la radio It's esta? Off. No reception. We're off the air. Vale, pues me voy a ir. A ver si encuentro algo para llenarlo de café. No se puede... No. No, no se puede coger esta taza. Tenía que... A ver, por aquí es... Solo me queda ir por aquí. Y por aquí es por donde vine. Bueno, primero por aquí, a ver, ¿qué hay? Hello, why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time, even at night. A cannon, just like in a pirate movie. Arr. I'm Jerry Hazelbeard, the pirate mage. Pause off! Nobody is allowed to touch the cannon. Not even me. Especially not me. Except in an emergency. The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Pause off! Vale. ¿Qué más? Who is that? Oh, just another owl statue. My mistake. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzvac. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Suslik. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, <laughs> it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable carts people here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem, I'll take care of it. Vale, a ver. El bote. El bote es el que es el, la hoja que está allí fuera. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. A ver si se lo puedo traer el bote. Está la salida aquí. Ah, mira. Ahora puedo hablar con los erizos. 
Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so. They run around mostly, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> Vale, otra cosa más. Encontrar las herramientas. <risa> nice sword. Pointy teeth. No la tendrán esta gente, ¿no? Las herramientas. Oh, it's you. The boy with the hat and the tight purse strings. What do you need? Boy, Church Mouse and Son have everything. Uh, I'm afraid I don't no, have enough money. No dice nada de herramientas aquí. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back in stuff. Now you. Vale. A ver si hablando con el conejo me dice algo. What exactly am I supposed to do now? According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Leslie, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. That is the tradition. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mouse. What is the Treetop Festival? Uh, Mr. Squirrel, honored guests, please settle down. The Treetop Festival oh, is going to take place one month from now. No, no. The, the Treetop Festival is traditionally held for every new tree walker apprentice once he has completed his training. So it was in the past, and so it is today. Oh, oh. Perhaps it really has been too long since I was here. What is that? Oh, oh. That is magic. And an invitation to the Treetop Festival from your city archives that's over 90 years old. You see, Conrad? Oh. Jerry, take this invitation. Also this magic postage stamp. What's it for? You'll find out once you place it on an envelope. But only stick it to an envelope once it has the invitation inside. And send invitations to everyone in Mousewood. Because once you've completed your training, the Treetop Festival will be held. You should talk to Plato, our mail from. He can deliver the invitations for you. If you need help, ask the people of Mousewood. If you get really stuck, use this first minor spell. Si necesitas un consejo para seguir adelante, abre el inventario y haz clic sobre el hechizo Voz del Maestro, en el extremo derecho de la varita mágica. Vale, ayuda. With this spell and your magic coin, be confident that you can face any challenge awaiting you. I'll wait here for you, Jerry. Vale. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. Oh, have you seen Plato the Frog by any chance? Vale, la rana esa es la que se supone que tiene que repartir las invitaciones, pero no aparece. A ver, vamos a ver... ¿Y por qué no está el, el diario aquí?
Vamos a ver el sello mágico y la invitación. The invitation looks really old. In fancy writing it says, "Hear ye, hear ye, an apprentice has come to the mousewood so green. Let the treetop festival begin with food and drink and singing." Probably means singing. This is an ant. No, it's magic. That could backfire. Ahora sí, ¿no? A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Sí, ¿no? Si es una rana, se la va a llamar al cartero este. Pero si no sopla... ¿Qué pasa? ¿Alguien te tiene que explicar para qué sirve o qué? Excuse me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening, but I'm prepping. Well, hey. Vale. ¿Qué más? ¿Y este quién es? Hold, who goes there? What sort of hideous weasel are you? Uh, I just need to get past you for a second. Yeah, sure. What's the problem? No problem. Just pay 500 lead bucks. Now. That's what it costs if you want to cross the cold water brook bridge. That's how much the troll costs. You mean toll? No, I mean troll. Leave the talking to those of us who don't make mistakes. But if we did that, the whole world might go silent. Everybody but me, that's right. Huh? And maybe my babysitter Anya, she says I'm an extremely gifted child. I can stand her, more or less. Well, almost. But how can we possibly negotiate if I'm not supposed to talk? Fine, fine. 300 leaf bucks. 300 leaf bucks? Oh, right. You must be a government official if you wield this kind of authority. Is there a magician's apprentice discount by any chance? Normally, magicians' apprentices get financial aid. I have to cross the bridge for uh, educational purposes. Educational purposes? Discount? Be glad you have the opportunity to get through here at all. 300 leaf bucks, that's the fee. Pay up or stay on your side of the bridge. It's no loss to us. Hmm, I'll be back later then. Vale, pues no me deja pasar. No. Vale, puedo darle el caramelo. How about if, instead of paying you the horrible toll, a uh, troll, I give you this gorgeous, sugary, sweet, totally bad for you, gigantic lollipop? Mm. A good vintage, I see. Rich and smooth and with a strong belly finish. And I detect a certain basic note of... Mm. What's that horrid smell? No, it can't be. Is this a sugar-free <laughs> lollipop? Uh, maybe. That is way too healthy. I don't eat things like that. Just because it's sugar-free, I don't think it's really healthy. <laughs> I won't fall for that. Then I'll have to find something more sugary. Algo más dulce. Eh, ¿Y el pastelito? That doesn't look yummy. Don't you have anything sweet? Dessert. But that doesn't need to have hard cake thrown in. Y esto no creo. That's no good. No. We pay with money here and in three figures. Don't keep me waiting too long. I'm getting hungry for something sweet. Pues nada, me tendré que ir.
Welcome to Mousewood, newcomer. Your friend with the red eyes seemed familiar to me. Here's some well-meaning advice from me to you. Stay within the town, all right? The crows are circling low over the woods today. Bueno, ya que estoy hey, aquí, a ver este. Hey, who are you? I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. He came through here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stay guard out here while you get to have fun? Vale, si hablo con... A ver, ¿por dónde era? Por aquí. Este me dirá algo nuevo. Will you take me part of the way on your boat? Oh, of course. But, but the boat has to be here first. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers, what? No problem. Sí, vale. I'll take. I want to. Yes, I have asked. I ordered it from the Hedgehog. All they had to do was float. I'd go myself to. Vale, pues nada. No me dice nada nuevo. Ahí lo del café, a ver. Something's not right here. Oh. Strange, isn't it? These cupcakes are at least made with herbs from his try one. Oh, come on. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the herbal cupcakes. Lab rat? Is that what they call scientists where you come from? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's not important. Nada, pues no. No veo aquí nada. Si hablo con ella, no creo que me diga nada nuevo acerca del, de lo del zumo. Que nada. No podría recoger ninguna taza de estas tampoco. Pues no, nada, por aquí. Ese es el que ha robado la herramienta. Vale, pero ¿por dónde? A ver... Tengo que ir en todas las pantallas a ver si aparece o qué. A ver, por aquí... Ah, mira. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean... Go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Vale, ha ido hasta hasta el fuerte que está en la entrada. A ver, por aquí. 
está aquí. No, aquí no. Any bird who built a nest up, I wonder, did I open? Y aquí. Ay, ah, este sitio no había ido todavía. Ah, bueno, esto es el principio de la entrada. ¿Qué más? Vale, aquí. It's much, much deeper than it is back home. Good thing I'm a decent swimmer. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? El monolito. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. Vale, ¿servirán esos cristales para viajar o algo? A ver. I'd better keep it. No. Sí, no. de la araña. Whoa, that is a big spider. Holy cow. As long as it stays right there, it can keep its pretty spider web. Vale, puede que sea, no sé, esté bloqueando algún camino. A ver, voy a volver otra vez hasta aquí. Pues no sé dónde se habrá ido el, el ladrón. A ver, aquí dentro. Aquí no me van a echar otra vez. Tampoco lo veo por aquí. Aquí está. The Shadow Flipper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. Stop. I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. Gives me strength. I I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. The little man runs over the rock to protect himself, and then he disappears, quite obviously with the help of magic. Trébol de piedra. ¿Qué puedo hacer con el trébol? No sé, con el palo o el rastrillo. No. Y el rastrillo. That's a cunning plan. And it might just work. Ah, <laughs> le va a dar en la cara. <laughs> a ver. ¿Dónde está este? Dolly cocks and fly specks. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. A ver si está aquí. No. Eh, ayuntamiento, no. Aquí. Aquí está otra vez. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing. Confounded, Billy. Vale, ahora sí va al trébol. 
He's gone again. Porque aquí, no, aquí no está. Está aquí otra vez. The leprechaun will pop up at any moment, and then. Ahí están las herramientas. Off to the Hedgehog Brothers. They'll sure be glad to get their tools back. Vale, el rastrillo. No, no lo puedo coger. Ah, otra vez por aquí. Johnny Hacks and Fly Specs. Leave me in pick, you'll never get me Shamrock. Todavía sigue por aquí dando vuelta. Vale, vamos a darle las herramientas a los erizos. A ver. Si, si terminan de hacer la barca esta. Ah, hacer que se vaya. Vale, a ver. Ah, ya ha desaparecido el, el rastrillo. Vale, puedo colocar... No, el rastrillo ya no lo puedo coger. Así que hay que usar algo. No sé, un clavo. No, I'd better be careful. No. No, tampoco. That would be a waste. Hmm. Escaramujos, a ver. Roadships are cool, but. Hmm. Pues no se me ocurre ahora qué puedo hacer. A ver. Esto decía que lo que hacía era estornudar. Y las gotas no me las puedo llevar. Ah, tengo que comprarla. Uf, ¿y ahora? Voy a grabar. Vale, los enanos... ¡Ay! Volverá a funcionar. A ver, en las afueras de la ciudad. Ah, esto no es. Por aquí. Eh, lo del palo con la telaraña volverá a funcionar. I don't want to make the spider mad. And if no. the web breaks, it's no good to anybody.
Vale, y no parece que pueda ir a ningún sitio. ¿Para qué? ¿Para esto? No. El monolito este como se usa. No, I'd better be careful. Hello, Miss. Oh, the boy with the what church? Esto puede ser. Even better. Mud? Ugh. It's very mud fan. Isn't that? He'll be taken, and then I'll soon you. Nada. Junior. Tampoco. <laughs> But I really. Jun... It's the high quality thing stuff, and now. Johnny Jackson fly specs. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. Vale, cortarle el paso con qué? That belongs to the Hedgehog Brothers, so I should be. Nada, con esto no. Con la rama. No. Rose hips are cool. El póster no creo. I don't want to put up any posters. Vale, tampoco. There's not even one, but judging by the sweets. ¿Se puede usar el caramelo sin azúcar con la miel? Bien, bueno, algo es algo. Ahora, a ver si se lo doy al niño. Otra vez este aquí. A ver si ahora sí. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you a health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. Vale, ya puedo pasar. Estarán los enanos aquí. Uy, este.
was that? Oh no, someone is being attacked by a crow. Hey, it's Ursula. Here's a written note. Beware, this is crow territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio, the voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. P.S. All right, I do give up. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. Vale, hay que hacer que el cuervo se vaya. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Un cordón. The shoelace still looks quite useful. I'll take it with me. This thing is huge. It smells pretty leathery. I wonder who lost this. The sign says, path into the swamp. Beware of mosquitoes. I can't get through here. There's a very deep puddle in the way. ¿A dónde va? Ah, está dando toda la vuelta para, para leer el cartel. Aquí está el zumo azul, está aquí. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jog for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarves to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Vale, tenemos máquina. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Empty. Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Vale, un portal cerca. Bicicleta. Hmm, the front wheel is frozen to the spot. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. Puedo seguir por aquí, puedo seguir por ahí. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. The large river back there has burst its banks. Ah, sí, ya lo hemos visto, vale. Todo esto es lo... Ah, una antena. Maybe I can flick the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. A ver, con el palo, quizás. A stick won't help here. A stick no. won't help here. Y está usando... A won't help me. No. Y el cordón. Maybe I can use this to flick the antenna and give the crow a good whack. Gotcha. Drat, it won't budge. Oopsie. Vale. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? <coughs> Now I can throw the rope, just like a grappling hook. Un gancho, podré subir allí con el gancho. Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. Porque el gancho no, no se lo puede lanzar al cuervo, ¿no? I just want to teach it a lesson, not... Vale. Y subir... Aquí. I better be careful with this thing. I better... No, por aquí no. Por I aquí me dejará... No me deja pasar el cuervo I y por aquí tampoco.
I better be careful with this thing. Emisora destrozada. ¿Qué tengo por aquí? No creo que esclavo. Vale. Lo enfurece algún más, aún más. Vale. Bueno, por hoy lo voy a dejar y ya seguir otro día, así que hasta luego.